Hey, this is Olivier, and you're watching the Internet of Things show. And today we have David. Today, we're with us, who was going to talk to us about connecting a real device, like one of these fancy little things, to Microsoft IoT Central. Ciao, David. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Good. And awesome. <laughs> so, um, which team are you part of at Microsoft? So, uh, I'm a software engineer inside the IoT Central team, okay. and I'm um, developing some cool stuff for IoT Central. Awesome. <laughs> I, I managed to get one of our devs here. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks. So, um, IoT, Microsoft IoT Central is this SaaS solution, right, yep. that makes it super simple to create a full-on IoT solution. Correct. And we've seen it many times with simulators, right? By default, yeah. it comes with simulators. Correct. But then, very often, very fast, you ask yourself, OK, I need to connect an actual device. Yes, so you need more funny. <laughs> <laughs> so OK, so if you wanted to connect a new, uh, new real device, it's pretty straightforward. Okay. There is uh, you know, a, lot of it, a lot of documentation here on okay. the Central. So there is a website that can show you uh, how to do that in a really simple way. So just getting on GitHub I.O., on the project catalog. So okay. you can go inside the project catalog stuff okay. and see. So that's page is for the IoT dev kit, right? For the yeah, MX yeah, chipboard? Yeah, OK, so yes. that's one of them that we could connect. Um, I think I think that's that default solution that we have in IoT yes. Central eventually allows you to easily connect a uh, Raspberry Pi as well. Correct. Um, so yeah. So yes, uh, using the dev kit template, you can connect either or MX, MX chip or a Raspberry Pi. OK. Or both together and, and <laughs> to uh, see what happens. Uh, let me ask you. So, what yep. what are the prerequisites? I mean, these are kits, right? That that yep. we Microsoft provide, and sure. and there's like firmware for them and so on. But if I wanted to connect another device, what are yep. the bare minimum requirements that would need to connect to Microsoft IoT Central? So, if you want to connect to uh, IoT Central, the only thing you need is a um, some um, a device compliant to. Uh, IoT Hub library, okay. so you you have to to use the the IoT Hub libraries to connect your device to the IoT Central platform. Got it. Got yep. it. So there's a huge catalog. I think it was like almost 600 uh, certified devices. Yes, correct. And, and any device that would run one of the SDKs for IoT Hub, I can yep. connect that to IoT Central. Yes. The only thing you have to do is just model your device inside the application okay. and see the data flowing. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yep. Well, show us what you did with the MX chipboard then. If you want to connect your device to IT Central, there is uh, this IoT Dev Kit uh, website okay. which teaches you how to connect your Microsoft IoT Central device okay. to uh, to IT Central okay. itself. And so there is a kind of um, example and guides related to the MX chip and Raspberry Pi mm -hmm. in uh, some different languages. So you can use either Python, C Sharp, or Use the firmware built uh, for the MX chip, or yes, or for yeah. other stuff. And that's interesting because that's actually yeah, they are the the languages that are supported or yeah. provided a sample of the ones that are actually the SDK languages. So yes, correct. Okay, correct. awesome. Correct. And so then, as I, I suppose you have the step by step for each of these samples. Like, yeah. Like to build a device that runs that code sample connects to Microsoft. Correct. Okay. It's pretty pretty straightforward. So you there is a. Uh, you know, there is a full guide to do okay. everything and configure your own device. Okay. So this is related to the uh, Azure Dev Kit, but okay. of course you can configure whatever device you want. Okay. It is supported by the IT okay. Hub stuff. Fun. So basically, we'll add the, the link in the in in the video so that you guys can actually access these pages. Yeah. <coughs> so um, great. And um, anyway, uh, so if you go back to the IT Central. Yep. page and we'll see so that's the starting point right so yes what did you do to land here so I just go to the um, my test application okay. so inside the high so okay. if you go inside aka.msitcentral we land to the that's going to be the, land, page, the landing page for the landing your, page for, for my application I go page. inside my application yeah and then I can go I can see all my devices ins okay. configured inside the application. Okay. So if you click here, I can see. So there are two templates related to two different devices. Okay. One is the MX chip, so and this guy here. Yeah, this yep. guy here, and the other one and is the Raspberry Pi. That everyone knows. Yes, correct. Okay, cool. So um, the application is bundled with two simulated devices, one for each template. Okay. But in this case, I created a new MX chip real device. Okay. Just 
the just created a new device and set to real. Okay. And then here we go. Nice. So once yeah, so once uh, inside this MX chip real device, the only thing I had to do is just to click connect this device, take my IoT hub string. Stop. That is coming. That is coming. We'll uh, cut that. No worries. Okay. So we have the uh, the IoT hub string. Configure that string inside the real device. Okay. And we are ready to go. And I guess that step is described in the documentation. Yes, you everything is inside the before. documentation. Correct. Otherwise, if you're familiar with IoT Hub and yes, the case for devices. Yes. Yeah. Um, let me ask you. So we see like tons of data coming in here. Yeah. It seems to be actually real data. Uh, yeah. I don't it know is. if I play around with the temperature sensor. Mm, I guess yeah. it might do something in the in a few seconds. In but a few seconds. Um, the format that I had to to uh, basically put the data in on the device side, what is it exactly? Is it like some magic science or is it something common? So No, absolutely. So the data sent from the device is the one that IoT Hub is expecting. So okay. it's working with uh, telemetry stuff and uh, desired and reported properties. Okay. So everything is in the format that IoT Hub is expecting. Okay. And then uh, IoT Central is taking that data, wraps it into inside his home data, mm -hmm. and then it shows you to the user. So, uh, okay. so the only thing that the developer needs to know is just to understand that the data is the one that the hub is expecting. So okay, that's got right. it. <laughs> and can you show us real quick the other tabs, the properties, the settings yeah. ones? So if, so if you go to the properties, okay. yeah, there's this oh, die number. Because there's a die number. Yeah, right? we have so to you shake the board. Have the yeah. application has a little like shake, shake something. Yes. And then based on what's going to show here, it's going to change that number. Yes, correct. Got it. That's fine. It's fun. just generating. Oh, yeah, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually it's really generating a random number. Yeah. And yeah. it's going to update here, right? Yes. If we okay. go inside the properties again, we should see. Oh, maybe we have to wait. Yeah, for like the data the time for the, yes. for the, the state to be synchronized with the Sure. Future. And what do you have correct. in settings for now? For so in settings, we have the voltage, the current, the fan speed, and okay. the IR. So we can just enable or disable the IR into the device, in the any dynamic kit. Any of these that I can just apply? Like if it changes the fan speed, is it going to do something in the device? Yes, you can. You have to to plug in your headphones here okay. just, to s just to hear the fan speed oh, you know, fun. rising up. and. OK, so yeah, so that's an experience with Yes, for this device. <laughs> it's a complete no, think, experience. No, I like it because actually, with with no code, actually on the on the back end side of things, correct. You basically are able to send commands to a device, and yeah. that device basically is is using in that case a sample that's been pre-written, uh, but you can definitely extend that sample or you can create your own one. But as you were saying, because it's based on the IoT Hub yeah. service correct. under the hoods. Like the format that you develop for another solution against IT Hub is going to work for Microsoft IT Central. Yes, totally correct. Awesome. Yeah. Well, so I think that's a good that's a good taste of what you can do with real devices. Yep. It was nice coming over, David, and uh, well, we hope to see you soon for more of the devices fun stuff. Thank you. Thank you.